Hi Grade 7! For today, our topic is angles formed by parallel lines cut by a transversal using measurement. And it was based on Mathematics 7, Quarter 3, Module Number 3. Hi Math Lovers! Are you ready? Let's learn! Have fun! Because Mathematics is fun! What I need to know. Here are our objectives. Number one, identify whether the line is transversal or not. Number two, name the pair angles form if it is alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angle, and corresponding angles, same side interior angles, and same side exterior angles. Number three, Find the measure of angles when parallel lines are cut by a transversal. What is it? I will present to you an illustration of parallel lines and transversal. Here is a bed frame. That is parallel lines. Here are the parallel lines in the bed frame. That is transversal line. And here is the transversal line in the bed frame. Now I have here a stairs. That is parallel lines. And here are the parallel lines in the stairs. That is transversal line. And here is the transversal line in the stairs. Now I have here a window with jealousy. That is parallel lines. And here are the parallel lines in the window. That is transversal line. And here is the transversal line in the window. Lastly, we have here an outdoor antenna. Again, that is a parallel line. And here are the parallel lines in our antenna. That is transversal. And that is our transversal in our outdoor antenna. In the previous activity, Parallel lines and transversal are presented in figures. To gain more knowledge for the next lesson, you will study about angles formed by parallel lines cut by transversal using measurement. Are you ready? Now look at this figure. Parallel lines. These are two lines with the same distance apart and do not intersect. Now look at this figure. Based on the figure, line AB and line CD are parallel lines. Transversal A line that intersects two or more coplanar lines at different points. Now again, look at this figure. In our figure, line EF is a transversal. Based on the figure below, there are different angles that are formed. The interior angles are angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, and angle 6. The exterior angles are angle 1, angle 2, angle 7, and angle 8. Alternate interior angles. These are two non-adjacent interior angles on the opposite side of the transversal. Now look at the figure. Based on our figure, angle 3 is congruent to angle 6, and they are alternate interior angles. Angle 4 is congruent to angle 5, and they are also alternate interior angles. Alternate exterior angles These are two non-adjacent exterior angles on the opposite sides of the transversal. 
Now look at this illustration. Based on the figure, angle 1 is congruent to angle 8 because they are alternate exterior angles. Angle 2 is congruent to angle 7 and they are also alternate exterior angles. Corresponding angles These are two angles in corresponding position on the same side of the transversal. Now look at this figure. Based on the figure, angle 1 and angle 5 are congruent because they are corresponding angles. Angle 2 and angle 6 are congruent angles. They are also corresponding angles. Angle 3 and angle 7 are congruent and they are corresponding. Angle 4 and angle 8 are also congruent and they are also corresponding angles. Now here are the properties of parallel lines cut by a transversal. First, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then each pair of corresponding angles are congruent. Now look at this example. In this figure, angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding angles. Since they are corresponding angles, then their measures are equal and congruent. The measure of angle 1 and the measure of angle 5 are both 83 degrees. Second, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then each pair of alternate interior angles are congruent. Now look at this figure. In this figure, angle 4 and angle 5 are alternate interior angles, and alternate interior angles are congruent. Then, angle 4 and angle 5 are congruent. The measure of angle 4 and the measure of angle 5 are both 79 degrees. Third, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then each pair of alternate exterior angles are congruent. Now look at the figure. In this figure, angle 1 and angle 8 are alternate exterior angles. Since they are alternate exterior angles, then their measures are equal and congruent. The measure of angle 1 and the measure of angle 8 are both 75 degrees. Fourth, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then each pair of interior angles on the same side of transversal are supplementary. Now look at the figure. In this figure, angle 3 and angle 5 are pair of interior angle on the same side of transversal. Since the pair of angles are supplementary, then the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 5 is equal to 180 degrees. Angle 3 measures 102 degrees, angle 5 measures 78 degrees, and their sum is 180 degrees. Fifth, if two parallel lines are cut by transversal, then each pair of exterior angles on the same side of transversal are supplementary. Now look at this figure. In this figure, angle 1 and angle 7 are pair of interior angles on the same side of transversal. Since the pair of angles are supplementary, then the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 7 is equal to 180 degrees. In our given figure, the measure of angle 1 is 75 degrees and the measure of angle 7 is 105 degrees. Their sum is 180 degrees. References I hope that you have learned a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye!